this is a rare disease, but with this new virus out there, we may be seeing more. And I think it's important for people and for healthcare providers to be aware of that. The treatment I don't think is any different in Zika virus than in other forms of Guillain-Barre syndrome. It should be the same treatment. The approach is the same. We just want to be aware that we might be seeing more of it. So Guillain-Barre syndrome is a rapidly progressive neuropathy. So it starts with numbness and weakness, often in the feet, as you say, often ascending up the legs, then going into the arms and ascending through the body. It can come on fairly rapidly and it can be very severe. So in the severest cases, people can be paralyzed and they can be on breathing machines, on ventilators. So it can be a very scary disease. It is an inflammatory neuropathy. Your immune system starts attacking nerves. And it often happens in a post-viral situation. And so you get an infection, and a couple of weeks after that infection, your immune system, for whatever reason, starts attacking nerves. Now, one theory about why that happens is a concept of molecular mimicry, that there is something in the virus that looks like your nerves, and so your immune system thinks it's clearing away a viral infection, and instead of doing that, attacks the nerves through this molecular mimicry, and that causes the nerves not to work. So nerves do things like feeling, and they do your strength, and so you lose feeling because they don't work well, and you lose strength and get weak because those nerves don't work well.